Hey you guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Now one of the hot button issues in the United States that really gets people polarized is the issue on immigration. Now, I'm libertarian on most things. I'm, I'm a libertarian. And the libertarian stance on immigration, I, I get asked this a lot, is that what is the libertarian stance on immigration? Since I lean myself to the right, a lot of people ask me, hey, how are you a libertarian and you're anti-immigration and stuff like that? Well, first of all, I'm not anti-immigration. Uh, one of the hints as to why I'm not is because I'm an immigrant. So, you know, you, you can't be anti-immigration and an immigrant. Those, uh, those, those don't get along well. So the libertarian stance on immigration is essentially this. Libertarians are actually open border people. We, we are actually open border people. With one important caveat. In the absence of a welfare system, you don't want a border or you don't need a border to be more precise because you don't have a huge influx of people coming in from a no welfare country to a high welfare country to sap onto government welfare. You don't want the native tax paying population to be subject to that. In the presence of a welfare system though, which we have in the United States, you need a border to prevent exactly what I was referring to earlier. You don't want a huge influx of people coming in from no welfare countries to high welfare countries to penalize the native tax pop and tax paying population. That is of course in a simplified world where people are not trying to kill you just because of you, you know, you being you. In the presence of those extra circumstances, yeah, you definitely need a border because you don't want people to come in to kill you. Now, I think a lot of the times, you know, we try to hear out the other side. So let's listen to the other side. I don't really mind. I mean, it's, it doesn't bother me, so no. But it def I would definitely like to stay like, like the way it is. First on Fox tonight, construction for a so-called border wall could begin in downtown El Paso. <laughs> now this border fencing that you see right here behind me in the Chihuahuita neighborhood will soon be replaced by what U.S. Border Patrol is calling a wall. For the neighbors who live right here on the border, there are mixed feelings on whether that change is even needed. Belia Sanchez says since the current fence went up, there have been few illegal crossings in her neighborhood, which sits right on the U.S.-Mexico border. She's been living in the Chihuahuita neighborhood for decades. But starting Friday, her view of the border will change. U.S. Border Patrol says the fencing will be replaced with a, quote, wall. This worries border activists. As members of the Borderline Immigration Council, we understand that migration is a very complex issue. Therefore, we would like our government to look at this issue with a more complex lens. Cynthia Pompa says a border wall won't solve illegal immigration. You know, data has proven time and time and again that border walls are ineffective. They don't work, eh? Well, first of all, in order to show that they don't work, we need a wall. And then you'll need to show that nothing has changed or, 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 hear this out. Why don't you try illegally migrating to a country that has a wall? Let us know how that works out. Patrol agents have previously told KFOX 14 that the Chihuahuita area is considered a, quote, hot spot for illegal family immigration. The new wall will stretch four miles east, starting from Chihuahuita neighborhood into downtown El Paso. For those who will have the new border structure in their backyard, there are other concerns beyond illegal immigration. It definitely would. It definitely would affect my view. Why? That, 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 that is a good reasoning. That, that's really one side of the argument we don't hear about. Just one more time for clarity. It definitely would affect my view. It definitely would affect my view. Exactly. You don't want to mess with the dude's view. Significantly reduces the value of real estate. I'm, I'm on board with this one. You know, if, if, if you're messing up somebody's view, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty bad. So, yeah, me, yeah, you, you can't have a wall. It, it messes up this guy's view. I, I wouldn't be able to see the cars from in Juarez. I wouldn't be able to see the movement in Juarez. I have very little understanding as to what this dude is talking about. Now, the AP reports that President Trump recently said that there will be more work regarding immigration, saying, quote, I think you'll be very impressed. Now, U.S. Border Patrol is set to have a press conference this Friday regarding the new construction. Work is set to begin this week. <laughs> that was fun. That was, uh, that was fun. Um, yeah, I, I guess my opinions about the wall has been greatly shaken. You really want to mess with this guy's view? What kind of a monster will you be?
Well, you guys, that's it for this one. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this discussion on immigration. I'll talk to you guys soon.